Hey guys, and Chris of the Polish Geek, and we are going to talk about something that has been in the news for like two weeks already, but I honestly feel I should have discussed it. Like, I didn't know if I should or not, but I think it's important. So, yes, I am going to talk about my thoughts about the reboot Harry Potter TV show by HBO Max. And what do I think about it? Well, uh, first I'll say I can see both perspectives. I can see, understand why some people might want to have a rebooted Harry Potter show because after all, the movies, although they were fantastic, like they weren't quiet, were page by page exactly like the books. Like I actually, like last year, I actually reread all the Harry Potter books and as much as I'm a huge fan of the movies, I honestly feel they, the books are still much better. They are so much more fleshed out and there is so much more in the books actually that, again, I love the movies, don't get me wrong, I love them. And I in fact did the ranking of the movies when my channel was only in its infancy, but... And maybe someday I'll do another ranking someday, although... For now... If you want to see my ranking, then it's one of my earliest videos. But yeah, I love the movies and I love the books. As I said, the books much more. They are so much more fleshed out. So honestly, an eight season show could actually work and flesh out so many things that the movie hasn't done. And as much as I love the movies, there are several flaws actually with the movies. Like, maybe I'll do another entirely separate video someday about... Uh, some of the things I wasn't a huge fan of in the movies, but that's for another time. Now we're talking about the show. So, so yeah, in some ways I could see it being a good thing, but ultimately I have to, even though I understand perspectives of people who be for it, I have to personally lean that I am not a very, fo I'm not very fond of this idea. And before you say, I will say this, if you want to ask me about the J.K. Rowling controversy, I think it's stupid. I think the harassment she got from the from the people and all is just wrong. And yeah, I'm not gonna get into that, but I will say the whole controversy is stupid and I find the harassment she got from people who don't agree with her just unacceptable. I don't well, whatever. That's the type of age we live in. But overall, I sadly can't uh, support the show, at least right now. First. The Harry Potter is actually pretty relevant now, outside of the stupid controversy I just talked about, but for example, we have the Hogwarts Legacy game that I still wasn't able to play, sadly, because unfortunately I don't have a PS5, so until the game comes out on PS4, I will not be able to play this game, but it looks really good and can't wait to play it, actually. Plus, the Fantastic Beasts movies, although the Fantastic Beasts movies aren't really that good, and... And the worst, and the best Fantastic Beasts movie is certainly very much inferior to the worst Harry Potter movie. So, although the Fantastic Beasts movies aren't really that good, they still are around. So, yeah, I think this probably now is not the best time to reboot Harry Potter. Maybe in 10 years it will be a different story. Combine it with all the things that are going on now, how... Unfortunately, we live in the time where Hollywood isn't very respectful to franchises. Like, look at what they did, for example, to Star Wars, or look what, or look what now they're doing to Marvel. <laughs> well, yeah, or how Ezra Miller, the criminal, still has his job and and is going to star in a major Flash movie that's coming out. <laughs> so. Yes, because seeing how Hollywood doesn't have huge respect for franchises in the modern days, that's another reason that raises a very huge red flag whether we really should be excited for this show or not. If, they sh if the show was very faithful to the books and actually fleshed out many things that the movies didn't do because the show that has more time, this could be a, actually a good idea. But, sadly, because of the current Hollywood age we live in, I absolutely don't think it's happening. I'm most certain the show would actually change far more things from the books. And I wouldn't be surprised if they inserted politics into the show, because that's sadly now what very much modern Hollywood is doing, unfortunately. And, 
another thing and that's probably my biggest actually issue and that's the biggest reason I'm against it is sadly I don't think the original cast could ever be replaced like like the Harry Potter cast is just perfection literally like one of my favorite things about the Harry Potter movies is that the cast there of character of the actors is just perfect like I can't imagine any other Severus Snape other than Alan Rickman I cannot imagine any other Hermione other than Emma Watson even though <laughs> I'm not very fond of what Emma Watson is currently doing oh well whatever and also there is no other Harry Potter other than Daniel Radcliffe even though like I don't think he's currently a good actor and I barely see him around plus Robbie Coltrane is dead so he can't ever return as Ruby as Hagrid kind of like Alan Rickman but yeah Bo Robbie Coltrane and Alan Rickman are the definite Hagrid and Snape actually and also I cannot picture anyone else other than Helena Bonham Carter as Bellatrix or Strange and David Tennant as Barty Crouch Jr. is also amazing yeah like I sadly can't really think of any other characters of any other actors that could play as wonderfully as these guys because yeah the original Harry Potter cast is simply perfection. They're just perfect. And I and I just unfortunately can't um, see anyone else playing these characters. So honestly, like in this case I think we can only hope the cast is decent because I because honestly the original actors are simply irreplaceable. Like the Harry Potter cast is literally one of the best performances I've ever seen and they and I couldn't think of better choices than the people they picked so yeah that's actually my major thing I'm kind of against it because the original cast is just too perfect to ever be replaced plus combine that with the fact that we live in a modern Hollywood that tends to ruin franchises and insert politics into everything makes it even more impossible to really support this show being made and the JK Rowling controversy as I already said I'll say it again is just stupid so that's really not my concern <laughs> but overall even though there could be some merits to this show ultimately I have to say I lean currently at least against it although maybe in 10 years I could see an American animation studio or like the Castlevania studio powerhouse animation maybe they actually could do an animated Harry Potter that could actually be interesting that way you don't have to like replace the original that, for, that, there, that way you don't have to replace the original cast that I already said is just too perfect to ever be replaced because all the characters will be animated and they will a and you'll be able to draw them very close the books so yeah that would actually be an interesting idea the Castlevania studio powerhouse animation teaming up and doing an animated Harry Potter series and making it as close to the books as possible yeah that would be very interesting idea actually or maybe they could also do that with a song of ice and fire and also make it as close to the books as possible because I already said it and said it again. This last season of Game of Thrones is such trash. But again, we're going off topic and on a tangent. Yeah. So yeah, I already said I'll say it again. I think Powerhouse Animation could do actually a very good animated Harry Potter TV series and make it as close to the book as possible. Although, then again, think how they what they did with Masters of the Universe and what a trash this show was. I kind of uh, am not fully trust them either. Like they did perfection with Castlevania that I did the that I even did a vid whole video on. But think how they mm, disrespected Masters of the Universe and He Man. Mm, yeah, I don't know if that studio can be trusted either. In all honesty, but here you have my thoughts on the Harry Potter HBO Max reboot. What do you think about that reboot? Are you for it? Are you against it? I'm personally lean against even though I do see few merits of this show being made. So yeah, so thank you for checking out this video, press the like button.
please subscribe this channel and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you soon, bye!